Morning, guys. Last night, I uh, before I went to bed, I live in China. Last, last night before I went to bed, I, I, I saw a video of Donald Trump saying, every American in the world needs to inject light and chlorine bleach disinfectant, primarily maybe, maybe a, a Kirkland brand, into their body with a medium gauge needle or intravenous system and uh, repeat as necessary until the coronavirus is cleared. Okay, okay. He didn't say that, okay? Donald Trump did not say inject chlorine branded bleach into your lungs. He didn't say to inject light into your lungs. I've had a lot of people, which is unbelievable to me. People that are friends of mine, people that I, under norm, normal circumstances, would trust in a lot of ways, that are trying to use this excuse to explain away what Donald Trump actually said yesterday, which in very clear, I don't, I don't understand this, guys. I don't understand. We are in really, really serious times, okay? We are in dire circumstances. People are being put in circumstances to protect each other. This is a slam dunk for a, a president who might be able to speak better, to, to empathize better to be a leader. Do you remember why we, why we uh, well, not me, but why America hired this guy? I hire good people. I am a businessman. I can close deals. I can put systems together is basically what he was trying to say. I'm good at this. I can handle people. I'm good at people. I own multi-billion dollar companies. He's driving America into the ground. You guys, know that, right? I mean, this isn't to most sensible Americans, but there's a lot of people out there, and maybe even some of them are sensible. I know some of them. Some of them are my friends that are, that are Trump supporters. I don't know how many are still Trump supporters. Apparently, I know some because they've been commenting on my Facebook about this current disinfectant light debacle. If you have to read between the lines of the President of the United States, then maybe there's a problem with the President of the United States. It's not Ikea. This isn't like how to put together a f this table, which happens to be Ikea, or, or this, this table here. It wasn't an instructions. Insert tab A in, into slot B. Insert chlorine bleach into your skin. Okay, Daily Wire, which is a, tr a Trump basically apology uh, website. They quote unquote debunked this Donald Trump quote that happened yesterday. Donald Trump did not tell people to inject themselves with disinfectant or drink bleach. Okay. Okay, Daily Wire. You got me on that one. He didn't say those exact quotes. Let me tell you what he did say. Well, let me set up some context. So Bill Bryan, the Undersecretary for Science and Technology, hopefully a smart guy, was talking to the press my name is Bill Bryan and I lead the Science and Technology Directorate at the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Our most striking observation to date is the powerful effect that solar light appears to have on killing the virus, both surfaces and in the air. When you see the word surface, we're talking about non-porous surfaces, door handles, stainless steel. And as the humidity increases, with no sun involved, you can see how drastically the half-life goes down on that virus. You inject summer, the sunlight into that, you inject UV rays into that, the same effects on line two at 70 to 75 degrees with 80% humidity on the surface and look at line four, but now you inject the sun, the half-life goes from six hours to two minutes. The virus does not survive as well in droplets of saliva, and that's important because a lot of testing being done is not necessarily being done, number one, with the COVID-19 virus, and number two, in saliva or respiratory fluids. We're also testing disinfectants, readily available. We've tested bleach, we've tested isopropyl alcohol on the virus, specifically in saliva or in respiratory fluids. 
and, and I can tell you that bleach will kill the virus in five minutes. Isopropyl alcohol will kill the virus in 30 seconds, and that's with no manipulation, no rubbing, just spraying it on and leaving it go. You rub it and it goes away even faster. We're also looking at other uh, disinfectants, specifically looking at the COVID-19 virus in saliva. I have an uh, aquarium, um, and there's a, there's a really powerful cleaner it's called a UV sterilizer. It's basically a tube with a little ultraviolet light that puts out a very powerful ultraviolet light. Water passes through it, and the light will kill anything in that water. And so out the other end comes um, in non-biological uh, agents, algae and things like this. It'll, it'll kill it all. It's indiscriminate as a killer, as a matter of fact, which is why you can't put it on any uh, reef tanks. Because in reef tanks, you have a very, very um, symbiotic biological system in most cases. So along with the killing of algae, so you're going to kill little eggs, little bacteria that feed the other bacteria, little, little critters that are going to grow into big critters that are going to end up being part of the larger ecosystem. You're going to end up sterilizing the entire system. It's an indiscriminate killer. Okay, so he was talking about how if I had COVID-19, <coughs> I coughed on this cup. I don't, you know, I don't have COVID-19. I put it on this table. The light or a light source that could be put over it, like a, a wand or something with UV light, could kill that virus. We've tested bleach. We've tested isopropyl alcohol, and specifically on saliva and respiratory fluids. Do you know why they say respiratory fluids? Because this thing, although it gets in your lungs when you cough, <coughs> when you breathe, you know what comes out of your mouth? Respiratory fluids and saliva. And those respiratory and fluids and saliva will get on things, like that cabinet back there. And you know, if it gets on that cabinet back there and somebody touches it, they can get it on their hands and get it in their mouth. It's a very serious issue. The study is a very serious study. If it gets on that cabinet, how are we gonna stop it from getting off that cabinet into somebody else's mouth? That was the purpose of what he was talking about. He was not talking about the human treatments, other than maybe putting something topically on your arm or light if you go outside, possibly, you know, do a sun suntan on your backyard, alone, isolated, social distancing, maybe you could do some good, possibly. He wasn't saying anything about ingesting it. It wasn't even the purpose of what he was talking about. Not only that, but it is criminally, 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 criminally negligent to offer these sorts of things. We'll get into that later. So this is the Daily Wire. The Daily Wire is laying out my argument here. We've tested bleach, we've tested isopropyl alcohol on the virus, on surfaces. And I can tell you that bleach will kill the virus in five minutes. Okay, so bleach will kill it in five minutes. Light in a minute and isopropyl alcohol in like 30 seconds. Isopropyl alcohol, bleach, light. So Donald Trump says this, and this is from the Daily Wire, okay? This is defending Trump. And this is specifically to my friends here. The rest of us can watch this and sort of hate watch it because because it is it is it is probably the one of the pastimes that we find drives us the most crazy during this time. But let me just say. So I ask Bill a question that probably some of you are thinking of if you're totally into that world, which I find to be very interesting. Okay, first of all, when Donald Trump says a lot of these things, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him a question. A lot of people are asking this question. Well, this is because this question is clanking around in his head. I was watching. Certainly wasn't a question in my head. This was not a question in my head. So don't put words in typical Americans' mouths and minds. So, supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. Okay. Suppose we hit the body with a lot of light. Okay. Suntan, the outer layer of your body. This is somewhat sensible, right? Okay. Not something I thought about, 
Maybe something I extrapolated. Light kills it. You go out in light, it'll kill it. I think any doctor would probably agree that, okay, well, I mean, light's gonna kill it on that cabinet just as easy as light's gonna kill it on an exposed surface on your body, but okay. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're gonna test that too. Sounds interesting. This is crazy, okay? And a, a bunch of you have been apologizing for him and saying, well, you know, there's a type of UV therapy for cancer where, where light goes into the body and, and it's used as therapy. Do you really think that that's what he's talking about? Do you really think that he's thinking quite specific and literally? I mean, if he was thinking that, maybe he would say ultraviolet light therapy, right? Ultraviolet light therapy is an ultraviolet phototherapy in a form of treatment for certain skin disorders, including atopic skin disorder and ver viticulo, vit vitiligo, vitiligo, when used with uh, sorolin to form a PUVA treatment. I, I looked that up on Google. It's an actual therapy that where they use ultraviolet light. It sounds very topical and it sounds like possibly when he was going through a walkthrough previously, he heard something. His brain latched onto it. He brought it into the White House briefing room and he threw it up. This is something, the White, okay. The White House briefing room is not designed for this. The White House briefing room is designed for concrete facts, statistics, and concrete therapies. Even, even if he's right, oh, you know, I, I heard you guys were talking about something that might help. No, 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 that's not what the White House briefing room is for. White House briefing room is for concrete information that gives people hope and direction, not ideas that he heard previously. I think, I think what he saw is the episode of Blade. The lead character is a vi vampire hunter and he found a way to put light into bullets so that when he shoots vampires, they explode and die. What a great way to inject light into the body. I mean, okay, I'm being humorous here and facetious and a bit stupid, but you know, the whole fucking conversation is pretty damn stupid. So he's sitting there, I tell you what guys, uh, yesterday I was watching uh, TV and, and I saw this video of this guy, he was, he was killing a lot of vampires, and his his bullets, they had some real light in them. And, uh, you know, he shot these vampires, and they just, they blew up. Now, normal people aren't vampires, but, you know, the light can still kill the virus. Okay, now, I've been told that that voice is uh, less Donald Trump and more Caddyshack. Uh, <laughs> so, choose what, what character you may to match that voice up with, but... You gotta listen to the way that he delivers. And I'm sorry, guys, that's just the way he talks. You know, Donald Trump, he's not good with words. You know, Donald Trump, he's got a fourth grade vocabulary. You know, Donald Trump, he can't put together complex sentences. Yeah, you know, Donald Trump, you know, he might say something, but he means something else. You know, Donald Trump, he just says stuff. You know, Donald Trump, he just th thinks on the fly. How many, how many of these apologies are we, are we gonna make? You know, Donald Trump, he just, he goes with his gut. That's why he didn't follow South Korea's act. He, he, wanted to, he wanted to defer the virus. You know, Donald Trump, he's gonna get attacked, whatever he says. That's another really interesting, you know, Donald Trump, he's gonna get attacked, whatever he says. That was a, that was a, a defense for Donald Trump not acting sooner to prevent the virus. You know, Donald Trump, if he said he, he was gonna lock down the country before there was any viruses, he was gonna be attacked. You defend him for holding back on sensible action in one side, but you, defend him for nonsensical instant action for something he heard previously in another. It's like you, you contort yourself into pretzels to defend this guy. Supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. I think you said that hasn't been checked. You know what this is? This is a power move to make him feel smarter and feel like he knows more than other people, right? I think, I think that hasn't been checked, right guys? Remember that thing we talked about that nobody else knows? I know it. I know it. Remember?
<laughs> you remember that thing that nobody else knows but I know? You're gonna check on that, right? I know more than everybody else. Yeah, you're gonna check on that, right? Come on now. Come on now. This is the White House fucking briefing room, guy. <laughs> guy. Okay, now that was a Canadian South Park reference. Look, guy, we have to stay strong. You know that's why he said that, right? You know that's, it's very, it's so easy to see how he puts together sentences and why. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. Some other way? Okay, if you really wanted to validate his theory of ultraviolet light treatments, you would say, I've heard of something called UV light therapy. And from what I could tell, it was some sort of light that they could put into the body. Is that something that we could, and that, now, okay, this is not a White House briefing uh, allowable topic, just mind you. This is not designed for the White House briefing, but I'm playing devil's, devil's advocate here, which is a real stretch. But maybe he said something like this. Uh, my friend um, had some difficulty with something in, in the hospital the other day, and he had some something called UV therapy. Um, I, I realize I could have probably asked you this about an hour ago when we were in our briefing, but I, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to do it now in front of the entire world here. You know, everybody's watching. This UV light therapy from my friend who had psoriasis, he had uh, this UV therapy. Could this work? No, he didn't say that. Which even if, even if would be inexcusable. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that too. Sounds interesting. This is him validating his own, his own cockamamie idea in front of the entire world, mind you. Don't get me started on hydrochloroquine. Okay, now we get to the real batshit crazy stuff. Right, and then I see the disinfectant. Okay, now, now this, is, this is Daily Wire. This is them defending his words. And then I see the disinfectant. Okay, unquote, I'm going to take out. Disinfectant, referring to previously, we tested bleach, we tested isopropyl alcohol, and we've tested other disinfectants and light. Okay, this is what he was said previously. This is what he's referring to. Maybe he didn't put that word, bleach, into this next sentence, but it's there. And if you can't join the dots, you might need to take... Listen, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Sounds interesting. Right, and then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that so that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. So you're going to have to use medical doctors with, but it sounds interesting to me. So we'll see, but the whole concept of the light, the way it kills it in one minute, that's, uh, that's pretty powerful. Uh, Steve, please. Let's, let's get into this. Again, White House briefing room, talking about bleach, talking about isopropyl alcohol and disinfectants. Is there a way something like that can be injected or almost a cleaning of the lungs? Do you know how complicated and delicate the inside of the body is? Do you know what would happen if you put isopropyl alcohol or bleach or any disinfectant, any general disinfectant? This is what he's talking about. He, the guy previously, Brian, is talking about topical disinfectants to kill stuff on cabinets and surfaces, maybe even on the top of your skin, okay? That's a surface in the outside. But he wants to say, hey, I got a theory here. What if, what if we put it inside the body? You know those disinfectants we were talking about earlier? He's not talking about some therapeutic medicine that works as a disinfectant. He's not talking about that, guys. We're, we're so late in the game here. Come on, stop it. He's talking about disinfectants. And here he says, by injection inside or almost cleaning. Injection inside or, or almost a cleaning. Now, a almost cleaning? Come on. If my daughter said something like that, she's four. Honey, let the, let the adults talk. It's, it's, time, it's time you put down that funny microphone you got and, and let the adults speak. All you gotta do, guys, is look at the, look at the reactions of Dr. Bricks. Look at, look at the people around him. 
Look at the reaction of the reporters. It's not fake news when they take his words. It's not fake news. Please understand this. You are so dangerous for still supporting this kind of rhetoric. I hope there's not many of you out there. I hope it's just the loudest voices who are crying out in despair for the death throes of your support for this guy. I hope that the world is a, 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 a large percentage more sensible than you. But come on. You know who you are. And I, I consider a lot of you guys my friends. But this is crazy. So the, so the news reporter comes on and says, but I'm, I'm just trying to the, 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 the president uh, mentioned the idea of, of cleaners as the bleach and isopropyl alcohol you mentioned. Uh, there's no scenario that that could be injected into a person, is there? I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I'm here to talk about the fines that we had in the study. We don't do that within that lab at our labs. This guy is in the president's cabinet. His job is to not buck what the president says. That was about as fine a dance as you can get by not directly saying the president's a moron, you shouldn't listen to him. Trump then clarifies his remarks. So, so how do you... I would say we're fighting too much. We're talking about almost a cleaning sterilization of an area. Right. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work. Okay, this is the White House briefing room, guys. He said through injection. By injection, injection, injection. Now that he sees he's being railed on, for a stupid idea, he's backtracking. And and you know what, Daily Wire, you're so you're so sweet. It says Trump then clarified his remarks. And then people all over the world that listened to what he said had to say, we urge Americans not to inject themselves with disinfectant. Action, reaction. So Philip Rucker of the Washington Post says, and and I say, I said it, I said it. I said it, and a, and a million other people said this. Especially, sir, you're the president, and people tuning into these briefings, they want to get information and guidance and want to know what to do. They're hey, not looking for up, rumors. I'm the president, and you're fake news. And you know what I'll say to you? I'll say very nicely, I know you well. I know you well, because I know the guy. I see what he writes. He's a total faker. So are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's just a suggestion. False hope dangerous advice, narcissistic division. I mean, I'm the president and you're fake news. Was he saying innuendo? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're the president. That's a very obvious fact. People are tuning in not to look for rumors. They're looking for accurate information. And he replies that I'm the president and you're fake news. It just boggles my fucking mind. He's the president of the United States, guys. Like it or not. When he stands up to that podium, he represents all of us. Does he represent me? Unfortunately, as an American, yes. But does he represent you? Does that, that standing up and saying stuff that you have to twist yourself into listen if you want to say that he was referring to something if he was he was just referring to ultraviolet therapy let him refer to that directly me and dr birx uh, earlier were talking about um, ultraviolet therapy it's something that's been used in the past and it seems like it might be something that can help even that would be dangerous Put, uh, and I don't know how many of you guys that were arguing this are Trump or, or were Obama fans. I liked Obama. I liked the way he talked. At least if you can't talk, think about anything, your hatred for Obama, which is founded in strange places, just listen to the way he talks. Listen to the way he delivers information. This is a leader. Put, put the words, I'll, I'll, do my, I'll do my Obama voice. Suppose we hit the body with a... Tremendous, whether it's ultraviolet or uh, powerful light. And I think, I think you said, but we're gonna test it. And then, supposing you brought that light inside the body, either through the skin 
or uh, some other way. And then I see the disinfectant knocks it out in a minute. One minute. Is there a way we can do something like that by injecting it inside? Almost like a cleaning. Because you see, it gets in the lungs and does a tremendous number on the lungs. So it would be interesting to check that. What if Obama said that? How would you guys feel? Honestly. Read that to yourself a couple of times in Obama's voice. I do that a lot with Trump quotes. I'm imagining that some of you guys out there, if you put Obama's voice to what Trump says, would drive you fucking crazy. Hey guys, my name's Matt. If you liked that video, please uh, hit the subscribe, make a comment. I'm sure I'm gonna get some nasty comments on this one. If you like these rants, they are sort of therapeutic for me. This one went a little long, but uh, I could do a morning rant about this. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna lose a constituent of my YouTube channel, the Jio Nation, but I'll let the comment section kind of uh, dictate here. But if, if you would like to support me, please make a comment. Um, if you'd like to hear some inside stories and stuff as I travel around the world, because I'm a travel YouTuber. It's typically, I'm cycling around the world on a three-wheel recumbent trike from China to the United States, sharing beautiful stories of how wonderful the world is. I don't want to be sharing stuff like this, but seeing as though I'm sort of isolated here in China, seeing as though this virus is rampaging around the world, and seeing as though the news coming out of America is hand on head, Fauci style frustrating. I'd like to do, I'd like him to go back to the State Department, or as they call it, the Deep State Department, if you don't mind. I'd like to have him go back and uh, do his job. So does anybody have any question? If you like these events, let me know. Um, I'll make the first comment. Um, would you like to see more of these? If you say yes, you asked for it. Bye. I would like you to speak to the medical doctors to see if there's any way that you can apply light and heat to cure. You know, if you could, and maybe you can, maybe you can't. Again, I say maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'm not a doctor, but I'm like, a person that has a good, you know what.